How's it going everyone? I'm Joe from Joe's Collector's Corner and welcome back to another video. For anybody that has not seen my most recent video with all the Star Wars gear, I strongly recommend you watching it. If you have watched it, you'll be happy to know that after a full week of sales, we are officially in profit already on that entire buy. There's a lot of money still to be made. I feel like everywhere I look in this house and in this garden, I'm looking at Star Wars stuff. I probably should have been more of a Star Wars fan, <laughs> but it was an opportunity that I could not, you know, miss out on. Uh, yeah, total sales this week have probably not been as many in quantity. It's been quite slow, but we've had some really good value. So we'll go through the numbers in a minute. It's been a while since I've done one of these sales videos, mainly just because hay fever has been, you know, proper beating me at the minute. I still sound you know, really, really snotty and bunged up, and I am, and it, it's like that every day. Doesn't matter what tablets I take, it's been pretty rough. But we've got to keep working, we've got to keep making money, and I just want to show you guys what we've sold. I woke up this morning to go to the car boot for next Friday's video. It was absolutely chucking it down from about 5 a.m. till about half seven, eight o'clock ish, so I've not bothered. We've still got loads of Star Wars stuff to go through, and with any luck, if we've got some good weather this week, I'll record another Star Wars haul video, probably looking at figures. I've still got a lot of vehicles to work through, but we need to start thinking about these figures because I mean, I pulled one out the other day, did a quick Google lens, and if I can find the stuff for him, it's like 40 quid for a, for a 3.5 inch figure, you know, like, I, I mean, he's missing arms, but like that size, it was like 40 pounds for a certain clone commander. And there's probably a few different ones like that. So it's probably time to start sorting them into age. In terms of sales, it's not been a crazy week, but we did hit a grand total of £606.16, and pence, split across two platforms this week, eBay and Vinted. It's surprising how much interest I've had in the Star Wars stuff on Vinted, and I've actually had quite a few sales, so it's definitely worth selling toys on Vinted and eBay at the same time. I strongly recommend it, and Star Wars stuff, there's an absolute ton of fans on there. So let's kick things off with what sold on Vinted. In total, we did £160.94. and pence. That's from last Sunday until Saturday. That's the seven days that I do my accounts in. And if you can guess, there's a lot of Star Wars. First things first, we sold a Star Wars A-Wing fighter from 1997. That went for £20. It did not have the pilot and I looked everywhere, could not find him. So a lot of these vehicles are near complete. That's how I've been selling them, making buyers aware. And to be fair, a lot of people that are purchasing these of collectors that refurb the models and often sell them for hire. Next, we managed to sell a bundle on Vinted. It's not very often that I do sell bundles, but he was after one, mentioned a figure from another. We agreed on a good price for, for everything that was in those listings. I sold a Star Wars Clone Wars ATRT with a figure, plus a Commander Cody um, speeder bike, which was incomplete. Complete that thing's worth a fortune in America. Not many listings in, in the UK. In total, that went for £35. Remember, I'm not paying for postage. I'm not paying fees. That's basically a £45 sale on eBay. I think total value was, I think, 50 on eBay for all of that. So very, very happy with 35 on Vinted. We then sold a pair of Nike Y2K basketball shorts. I bought these on holiday in Scarborough for a fiver and they sold on Vinted for a fiver. No value in them. I think I'm going to avoid shorts altogether. Unless it's a pair of football shorts for a pound that I can turn into a tenner, I'm just leaving them. I can never find a pair worth more than, you know, five, eight quid, something like that. Nice sale next, £2 into 49.99. The Laura Ashley curtains have sold. And on Vinted as well, no fees. I think I wanted 75 that was the top end that I listed them for. 50 quid with no fees, I'm going to take that every day. Like I said, I've got £2 into them, so they owe me nothing. Another Star Wars bundle. We actually This one was without any negotiation. They just picked a couple of things and bought them outright. I think when they pick two things up, they get a 5% discount, I think, on Vinted. I'm fine with that. I think I set that policy myself. They bought the Star Wars Y-Wing bundle, which was two... 1999 Y-Wings, one of them was really yellow and incomplete, the other one was missing the cockpit cover, and again, not fully complete. They should have some giant jets, like bits of plastic coming off the back. They had none of that. They sell like that on eBay all the time. I put them up for £29.95 for the bundle, 
because they're similar ships and one of them was very sun faded even though it looks like it had been painted it was sun faded and then they also picked up a cheap and cheerful obi-wan kenobi jedi starfighter just a lower end model i think i had it up for a tenner i chucked in a figure from a similar uh, year it, it might have been the original one but i'm not sure because i've got so many and that went together for 35 pounds and 95 pence which is great when i did no negotiation whatsoever i'm really really happy final sale cheap and cheerful a monster jam piranha for a fiver sent out a good offer i think i had it up for a tenner mainly because i've made profit on that bundle from like one car and the playsets that i sold so now i'm just trying to get rid of some vehicles i've got a lot of low-end ebay stock that's just basically worthless and I, I need to start shifting it so i'm going to keep sending out good offers and when i go to the car boot just trying to focus on buying some nicer items i think we'll jump over to ebay now where i did 445 pounds and 22 pence which is not a lot but it's in 11 sales which is probably the most i've ever made from so little sales so that's pretty exciting as always, looking at the eBay sold page, they are in a completely random order, so ignore that. Some of them have not actually been posted out yet and will be packaged today. First things first, we sold SpongeBob Truth or Square for the Xbox 360, complete the manual, and that went for $11.99. I started adding $1.99 postage onto all games now because if you add free postage and it's a cheap game, you make about 20p, so I'm just adding postage. People are still buying them, so it's worth considering that too for your business. Next, we sold a pair of men's Diesel Cruelly jeans. These went for £38.44. and pence. These are like a jogger jean material, really, really soft, really cool design, distressed and things. Had them up for 50 but sent out a good offer and they snapped them up. This is a nice sale, completely at random while I was at work, no offers sent, no contacts or anything. I sold a vintage pair of AVF wall-mounted speaker brackets little metal made in england brackets i've sold a pair in the past for about 30 pounds i think i had a message from a guy the other week he sent me an offer for a tenner i obviously declined and he just messaged me saying there's no way you're going to get the price you're asking for these that's ridiculous and i said to him you know i've sold a pair in the past there's loads listed at that mine sold for 39 pounds the most i've ever got i paid three at the car boot three into 39 happy days Again, another completely random sale. You might notice it's missing from the shelf, and also we've had a rearrange. I've got some Pokemon Lego up there now. It's not Lego. It's made by a company called Mega, but they are licensed to do Pokemon, and it's the same as Lego. It looks pretty cool. You can't really see it because it's blurry, but it's I guess it's an investment piece. It's something for me to look at. I've kept the box, and in the future, I can sell it for the same I bought it for. It was on a massive sale on Amazon, so pretty good. But yeah. We sold a Nintendo Tony Pokemon Sun and Moon figure. This is Lycanroc. It was tiny. Pretty rare though. It went on offer for £23.49. That came from, I think it was the massive Pokemon bundle I bought at Christmas for 25 quid or something like that. So I've made loads of profit off that and that again pays for the whole thing. Another random sale. I think I bought them because they were like desert tan boots and I thought that might go well on eBay. But they were a brand called, it was OHW question mark. So like who backwards. Um, they were knackered at the bottom though, completely ruined at the back. Um, they went for £8.49 all in. I think I paid three quid, so no money made there. As you probably can tell from the title of this video and the theme of what's been selling on Vinted, we've got a whole lot of Star Wars to get through. Starting off with... The first figures that I sold, these weren't in the video and they won't be in the next one because after sorting out some of the vehicles, we tipped all of the figures out so that we could sift out the accessories. And while we did that, we just picked up all of the 80s and 70s Kenner figures that we could find. We ended up with 27. Condition was terrible. Um, no accessories with them, things like that. No capes, all sorts like that. Put all 27 in a bundle and they went... Uh, on eBay for £80 in total. The fees on that was ridiculous. It was like £11 fees almost on an £80 sale. Crazy. But I wanted to just start making some good money from it. They've sold to an eBay seller that resells vintage Kenner Star Wars. So with any luck, he's either not going to rip me off and try and send back other ones and keep ones that he wanted. He's probably just going to refurb them, I think, add accessories if he's already got them and make some good money. There's 27 of them, so if you can clean up a few, I know you can get really good money for some. And I, I Google lens some of them, but I didn't do them all. There's a lot of sun-faded models, a lot of dirty ones. It was time to make some money, and hopefully you can make money too. We then sold, this was a nice sale, because there was no sales in England and none without the, some of the accessories. So I sold a Star Wars Bantha 
furry animal with some Tuscan Raiders. The Banther didn't have the saddle. Every eBay listing I could find had the saddle or the box and they were going in America for 50 odd quid. What I did was I added the Banther with three Tuscan Raiders I could find and two weapons, made up my own price. It sold the next day for full price, 33 pounds and 44 pence, which is 29.99 plus postage, something like that. So we sold a My Little Pony Build-A-Bear, paid a pound at the car boot, and that went for 14.99. It was a DJ pony. I think if you have all the accessories, that thing's worth really good money. This did not, but again, it cost me a pound, so anything over a tenner for a plush, I'm happy with that. Best Star Wars sales so far. We sold the Star Wars, the Clone Wars Rebel Attack Shuttle with 11 figures that I bundle in, all clone troopers with an Obi-Wan clone trooper too. Individually, they can have really good value, but I thought if I just grab quite a lot of them, give them all a weapon, throw them in with this bundle, it's gonna look really good on eBay. And it did, and it sold really quick for full asking price. It had, it's the only one I have got big ship that's got the original box. The box was pretty knackered, but I taped it up, rebuilt it. It doesn't have the inserts, but we got the ship in almost complete condition with only a few broken bits, all the sounds work and everything. 11 figures with weapons and helmets, things like that. And that went for 106 pounds and 95p. I've just seen the fees on this, nearly 17 pounds, which is pretty drastic, but it's good money and we're in profit. This was a nice sale. I've not sent, sent them out yet, so I will grab them. I've got these here. These are ATAP walkers. Now, one of the guys that bought something off me from Vinted refurbs these ships and, well, and everything, figures ships, to an immaculate condition and sells them to collectors for display. He gets about £40 for one of these. I've got two. One of them is either complete or near complete. The other one is obviously missing that really long cannon there that you can see. I bundled them together, put a figure on each one, just a random scout trooper. They were similar to that guy's refurb listings and they went for full price, 54 pound and 95 P. And, and whoa, the gun fell off because that one is broken, but they're not that big. If you like put it next to my head, they're not huge models and they went for 55 quid. I mean, this is the kind of thing that you could easily put on eBay for a tenner and just not think about it. But it is worth, it is worth using Google Lens and just taking the time to see what other people are selling them at and whether they're a particularly rare model. I found that the really modern Star Wars Rebels stuff from the cartoon, the vehicles are worth a fortune. I don't know why. I don't know if they were like a... Toys R Us exclusive for a month or two and now you can't get them anywhere, but it, it's ridiculous money. But yeah, 55 quid. Really, really happy. And the final sale of the week is not Star Wars. It is a bundle of 19 micro machines. You might have saw them briefly in my most recent car boot video because I wasn't filming at the time. I forgot to turn the camera on, but I quickly showed them in the video. I think I paid like three or four quid for a case with some cars in. All of the cars on their own went for £33.48. And, and that is everything that sold on eBay. I can't remember if I said it at the beginning of the video, but we are officially about 100 to £140 in profit on the Star Wars stuff. So, exciting times. A lot of profit to be made. I still need to go back to the boot sales. You know, I've got to be buying normal stock too. But when I open that shed and all I can see is Star Wars stuff falling over me, it's pretty overwhelming, so I'm going to keep plugging away at that as well. Thank you all for watching. I'm going to go blow my nose. <laughs> I've been Joe. I'll see you in the next one.